When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam warned us about our friends, our companions around us, could it be that books are included in that? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa here with Sira Masters developing the Muslim mindset for success. This week, uh, I just want to jump into a story really. I out of all like the websites, social media, blah, blah, blah. I jumped off a lot of social media stuff. But one that I don't know if it's technically social media site or not, that I really like and I, I do spend quite a bit of time on is YouTube. Because what I do is I have channels that I subscribe to that I just find so useful. And whenever they upload a new video, it comes there on my subscription thing. Hopefully you do the same with my videos. And it's there and I watch it. And most of the time it's something specific I'm trying to learn about okay it could be stuff i'm interested in in psychology business um, islamic studies right these these three areas a lot of the time um, now there is one specific channel where you know it's really well well produced the the stuff is really good and i learn a lot about business through it and to be honest with myself a lot of it was just kind of inspirational which i don't usually watch um, i usually like to kind of walk away having learned something but I like this stuff, right? I was watching, I was watching it. Now the guy in this video, the main character, if you like, the main guy in the videos, he swears quite a lot. And, you know, generally I'm quite sensitive to swearing, right? Because I separated myself from hearing people swear a lot, um, I don't live in an environment where people are swearing around me. When I first started watching the videos, it hit me quite hard, right? And I'm thinking, you know, that's kind of disgusting, to be honest. Um, but as time went on, oh, these videos are great. Oh, I'm learning this, oh, I'm learning that. Bit by bit, I didn't really realize, but I kind of got a bit used to that, the, the swearing there. Um, and just after a few weeks, you know, I just realized that that guy just swore, he swore again, he swore again, and I didn't even realize anymore. And that's when it hit me, and that's why I'm making this video, is that that guy, thousands of, of kilometers away was able to influence me, influence what I consider to be normal and not normal, influence what I consider to be acceptable and not acceptable through a video, through a 15 minute video, a 10 minute video, a 20 minute video. So then I started thinking, if that's the case with, with YouTube, with videos, of course it's well produced and everything, but still just a video, I've never seen the guy, right, face to face. If that's the case, then what about people around me, what about people I'm hanging out with? If a guy can influence me through a 10 minute video, you know, bit by bit, then what about someone I spend an hour a week with? Two, three hours a week with, there, were plen plen there are plenty of people that we spend a small amount of time with. I started thinking, you know, what, what is the influence this is having on me, you know? Um, and then I started also thinking about books. And there's, there's another kind of story I've got, an experience I've got with books, which is that I started at one point, I was going through a book a week, okay? Reading, reading, reading a lot of business books. Now, when I read those books, I jumped into the world of those people, right? Of those authors. And I noticed something else about myself is that I started to consider what was a very big amount of money. I started to consider it to be not such a big amount of money. Obviously, there were other influences, but this is just one. And so that was a good thing in a way because I was like, okay, it's not such a big deal anymore. Um, you, I can actually aim that. I can actually attain that, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but it did, it did make a point with me that if I wanted to be like those people, at least in business, right, I've got to spend time with them. How can I spend time with them? Through reading their thoughts going into their head. And so books, videos, films, people you spend time with, family, even your Twitter feed, right? It's only 140 characters, but those things add up. These thoughts add up. And I, I, I think I mentioned in my Twitter video that uh, that's one of the reasons I jumped off Twitter because I don't want irrelevant people's opinions entering my head. Even if they're Muslim, even if they're actually tweeting Islamic stuff. If I don't know this guy, I don't know if the stuff he's saying is true, it's not true, it's good, it's not good. I don't know. I don't want to spend all my mental energy filtering out stuff. Alas, I jumped off Twitter, right? And so the message of this video really is really take it seriously and really consider what is being put into your head through radio, podcasts, videos, films, 
magazines, books, people you spend time with. We always focus on people you spend time with, right? And we know that the Prophet ﷺ, he warned us about who we spend time with. And if we spend time with the blacksmith, we're going to end up with black and ash and, and smell of smoke on us, right? Um, we, we know that. But I just wanted to extend that kind of definition uh, because I have realized a serious influence on me through other ways of connecting with people, if you like. And as we spend more, you know, imagine when we get into the virtual reality world, which is around the corner, imagine how deep the influence can be because now it's no longer watching a screen video. Now the guy is right in front of you, right? The woman's right in front of you. It's like they're talking to you, right? Not to mention holograms and Allah yustur, you know? So, um, you know, garbage in, garbage out. That's what I want to, to uh, give as, as the message this, this week. Garbage in, garbage out. They use this gigo. They use it in IT, right? So if you've got rubbish data coming in, unfiltered data, unvalidated data, it's coming in, you're, you're going to get garbage out, which is a rubbish outcome, a rubbish analysis of the data, rubbish suggestions, right? Um, so same goes with our brain. You got rubbish coming in, you're going to get rubbish behavior coming out. You're going to get rubbish um, thoughts coming out. You're going to get rubbish, uh, you know, uh, words coming out, right? So consider all these different ways that we connect with people. Consider them all to be things you need to filter some people in and some people out of. This has been Amir Sira Masters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.